we want to find out potential difference between the points A and B where A is here and B is here. Between these two points we need to find the potential difference. If you look at the circuit there is a power supply 60 volts there are resistors. How does the current get distributed if you understand that try to understand that from the positive plate of the battery a current I starts it will go like this after coming here this current splits it becomes something like I1 and it becomes something like I2 this I2 will go through this 4 ohms after coming to this place again this I2 will be get distributed across these two it will become say something like I3 it will become like I4 after coming to this junction I3 and I4 are combined back as I2 so that I2 will come here this I1 will come here here I1 and I2 combines and becomes I goes back so the current I is distributed in the circuit as shown now before coming to the point A and B let us try to understand the other parts of the problem if you look little carefully the 6 and 12 are in parallel when the resistors are in parallel 6 ohms is in parallel with 12 ohms so you can say the effective resistance between that two points is r1 r2 as they are in parallel by r1 plus r2 so that is 6 into 12 by 6 plus 12 that is 18 this is 3 fourths so this resistance is 4 ohms so instead of these two resistors I can write on 4 ohms. So if you draw an equivalent circuit of this circuit it will be like 4 ohms instead of 6 and 12 again 4 ohms here there is a 8 ohms at the bottom again there is a 2 ohms and then there is a battery of 60 volts this is an equivalent circuit simplified circuit and again if you look little carefully this 4 ohms and this 4 ohms are in series when they are in series you know the effective resistance formula for these two R series is R1 plus R2 that is 4 plus 4 that is equal to 8 ohms so I can draw an equivalent circuit again what kind of an equivalent circuit instead of 4 and 4 above 8 ohms these two in parallel there is another 8 ohms at the bottom there is another 2 ohms there is 60 volts yeah this is circuit now again if you see little carefully this 8 ohms and this 8 ohms are in parallel again when they are in parallel we are having a formula what is that R parallel is equal to I have a formula R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 that is 8 and 8 by 8 plus 8 that is 16 H2s and 2 fours. so the equivalent resistance is 4 so if you draw an equivalent circuit again instead of 8 and 8 4 ohms there is 2 ohms as it is 60 volts so this is the final equivalent circuit so if you look into the flow of the current carefully from here current I starts entire current will go to the combined resistance of 4 and then to the 2 and comes back as the same current is passing to this uh, 2 and 4 that equivalent resistance they are again in series so their resistance is 4 plus 2 6 so the final equivalent circuit of that full circuit is 4 and 2 6 ohms 60 volts I can use a formula V equal to IR so V is 60 I we don't know R is 6 that implies R is 6 so 60 by 6 that is 10 amperes so the entire current passing in the circuit the I total in the circuit is 10 amperes so if you draw the circuit say for the just for the sake of convenience I will draw the entire circuit once again for you here is 4 ohms 
here is uh, section 12 here is uh, 8 ohms of course here is a 60 volt battery and again that is a 2 ohms resistance so from here if you see from here a current of 10 ampere starts here this current 10 ampere starts after coming to this as I told earlier current has to be distributed as I1 and I2 how much is that I1 and how much is that I2 we have to find out as I told you the effective resistance of 6 and 12 is 4 that 4 and this 4 are in series therefore the entire upper branch this upper entire upper branch is having a resistance of 8 and this is also 8 these two 8s are in parallel so what happens the current get distributed as the resistances are equal the distribution of the current is also equal so here this 10 amperes becomes 5 amperes and 5 amperes right so of course this 5 amperes after coming here again get distributed it's again combined back as 5 amperes combined comes here that 5 and 5 again becomes 10 and then it goes back like this if you notice the entire resistance the entire current 10 amperes is passing through this 2 ohms so the most important part of the problem that we need to look into here is this this is the point A this is the point B between that points the current that is passing is I of A and B is 5 amperes I know how much current is passing I want the voltage across them you know the formula voltage is IR I is 5 amperes resistance between these two points is 8 so 5 into 8 is 40 volts so the voltage between the points A and B which is the aim of our problem is nothing but equal to 40 volts that's it